in this episode, we are going to get into the nitty gritty. I'm going to cover my entire experience shopping for a new car. I went to three different dealers and I'm going to give you a detailed report of what happened at each of them. So first things first, in my area, the MSRP, that is the manufacturer's suggested retail price, AKA the retail price of my Mazda 3 Sport is 21,280 bucks. So let's keep that in mind because that is the retail price, um, the baseline for how much my car was going to cost. What dealer number one was offering was $19,795. So already it came at a bit of a discount off the retail price. And then he asked me if I would consider trading in my car. We talked about this in the previous episode that oftentimes if you're going to trade in your car, they will appraise it on the spot and give you a value that you can then deduct from the price of the car that you're trying to purchase. So he looked at my Jetta and he offered a thousand dollars, which absolutely broke my heart, but that's okay. He offered me a thousand dollars. And so that took the price of the Mazda down to $18,795. And so at this point, he asked me if I was considering leasing or buying. Either way, if you're looking to finance the car, you're going to be asked for your social security and some background information so they can run your credit score. That way they can better determine what your financing options are. This was the first dealership I had gone to and so I wanted to take some time to think about it. So I told him that I was going to head back home, do some shopping around and think about it. And it's at that point, like I said in my past video, you have to be ready to walk off without buying the car. Because when I told him that I was going to leave, he actually offered me the price of the car with the trade-in without actually trading in my car. So I would have been able to get the Mazda 3 and keep my Jetta, which then I would have sold. So be ready to do that and don't feel like, oh, that's messed up, like we sat for an hour or so. It's all part of the process. So after I went to this first dealer, I ended up thinking about it and going back online to search for dealerships that were outside of my city to see if there were better prices elsewhere. And so I found two Mazda dealerships that were further out and because they were more than 30 miles away, I wanted to make sure I got the pricing before I headed out there. So I did some online shopping and it was actually really hilarious because I did a bit of a mean girls type thing where I pitted them against each other. Basically, I got online, I did um, the online chat for one of them and I did an online chat for the other one and I was chatting away, got the best pricing of both emailed to me and I shared them with each other and let me tell you what happened. So dealer number one, without having to do too much negotiation with him, offered me a price of $18,379, which if you think back to my very, very first example of my local Mazda dealership, this is already almost $1,500 less. So be sure to check around, not just in your immediate city for the car you're looking for. Dealer number two offered me an even better price right off the bat with some rebates. I was looking at a price from them for about $17,771. So I was getting really excited because the price just seemed to keep getting lower and lower. So I actually took dealer number two's offer of $17,771 and straight up forwarded that email over to dealer number one. And at that point, dealer number one offered me a price of $17,879, which really isn't that bad. It's only a little over $100 difference. So what did we learn from all of this? Basically, I did my shopping around and at each and every dealership, I was able to negotiate off of the retail price roughly 12%, which is great for my first go around. And I was really, really excited. It was an exhilarating um, educational process and I'm really glad that I did it. Now, what I finally ended up doing, I will explain to you in my next episode on how to buy a used car and how to shop for a used car. But in these first three episodes, I wanted to talk to you about shopping for a new car. In this episode in particular, we covered a lot of ground. We got into the nitty gritty of me sitting down with these dealers and crunching all the numbers and seeing what was the best possible lowest price that I could get for this car. And again, this, is my, this was my first time doing all of this. And so if you have any suggestions, if you have any tips and tricks, um, if you've gone through this process, please let us know in the comments. If you have any questions, I'll try my best to answer them. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.